way I would see the industry kind of pan out, right? So if you look at processes today, is the fulcrum of RPA. And processes are changing because the needs of customers are changing. So today, a customer is going through a certain flow of buying a particular product is not the same what it was three years before. So first, step one is for companies to understand the process, which essentially means that you need to have the right skills in place. Second, and more importantly, the backend systems. So backend systems are horrendously complex today. Uh, A, you need to understand all the touch points and so on and so forth. And thirdly, you should understand, look at the process in an entirety. You know, most of the process automation that is happening today is at a task level, but not at an entire process level. It, it doesn't include the customer experience bit of it, right from the time he walks in, into the bank till the time he gets a loan or any other product of choice. So it, it's just not going and signing a particular form that we need to look at, but the entire experience around it. So it's very important to categorize the problems into three broad areas. One, the changing nature of the customer in terms of his journey. Second, to understand the business process that are entailing behind that. Third, the people who understand that particular journey. Fourth, the complexity in systems. Unless until you have all those four things sorted out, it's very difficult to automate a given particular process. So that to me is the biggest challenge that I see in the industry today. So I kind of go back by the saying that last five years was touch, next five years is going to be voice. And that's where the future holds for all of us. And that to me is a disruptive way of engaging with a customer. I feel industries where there are heavy customer touch points stand to benefit. So I am of the notion that, you know, automating mundane processes are not going to give you the dividends that a customer or that an enterprise is experiencing or will experience. If you are able to rewire the customer experience by giving him a new flow and which is attuned to the changing Gen Z or Gen Y of, of the customer base, that is going to be more appealing in terms of automation. And that, those to me are sectors, be it finance, be it retail, be it healthcare, be it communications, because those are your top five sectors where we are touching on a day-to-day -day basis. So things are basically changing because of the voice, the image, and unstructured data that is coming in, any amount of automation that can focus in around that area will give you a lot of uh, dividends very soon and faster. Harman, as we all know it, is in the core vertex of connected ecosystem. Uh, we are known in the world for our house of brands. Uh, but beyond that, we are there in the automotive segment. We are also there in business, uh, stroke enterprises like places of worship, airports and so on. The other area where we are focused around is in the connected services. And the connected services we are focused in three broad verticals, be it consumer, healthcare and in communications. A any of our processes that we embark from an automation perspective, we have five KPIs or five KRAs that we look at. One is cost efficiency, second is revenue gain, Third is accuracy, fourth is availability, and fifth is experience. On an average, when we embark on an automation journey, it should tick at least three out of the five boxes. Okay, that's one that is set in stone right from management layer onwards to all the projects that we are executing. So that's how we look, try and uh, look at uh, overall automation uh, from, from K KPI perspective or a KRA perspective.